Yes. Let me bring on our, our, our musical guest. Folks, uh, you asked for him. This is a great example of our awesome audience, the chat realm for which the rest of the internet is jealous. Diamond Club itself told us that for the summer music series, there's only one man that we need to have on, and he is joining us right now. Ladies and gentlemen, George Robb, welcome to the NSFW show. So wait a minute. Do you guys, you guys get paid for those live reads? Like they give you money for that? Uh, yeah, they let us live and everything, and we've survived wow. for almost uh, 90 episodes now. So we're just hoping it keeps on continuing. <laughs> Justin? Wow. Uh, That's cool. Well, Hi. <laughs> Welcome to the show, man. Uh, unfortunately, I was not able to connect with you on, uh, on Twitter about what you were, you were going to be performing. So tell us what you'll be playing for us today. I'm going to be playing a song off of my newest album called Trebuchet. This is a song called uh, When I Was Your Age. This is like, Brian, appropriate for you. You have two kids, if I remember correctly, from way back in our conversation oh, previously. Yeah, totally. So, uh, yeah, this, is, this is just talks about what's, uh, what's different today from when, uh, from when maybe you were the age that your kids are now. Right? No, right. yeah. No, I'm sure nothing's different. I'm sure everything is exactly the same as it was Absolutely. in the early 80s. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Summer Music Series is proud to present... Playing when I was your age, George Robb. Take it away, George. When I was your age, the phone was tied to the wall with a kinky, twisty, three and a half foot cord. It's hard to believe, but it had a ring that could not be turned off or ignored. You couldn't choose the sound of the ring, it was just the sound we called the phone. You never <laughs> heard of a ringtone. When I was your age, our video games looked nothing like the illustrations on the box. All of the graphics consisted of nothing more than simple lines and dots. Missiles were just a few pixels and the jungle swinging guy was a stick figure. And nothing bigger. When I was your age. When I was your age. When I was your age, we had this stuff called film. You would stick in a camera before you took a shot. And then you had to wait like a week until you could tell what pictures you got. You would hand the film to a guy in a parking lot who lived in a booth. <laughs> yeah, it's the truth. When I was your age, you had to wait till the movie was either in the theater or on TV. If you wanted adventure, you couldn't rent adventure, you just had to wait and see. And once you were watching, you couldn't stop or pause or even try to rewind. But hey, we didn't mind. When I was your age. When I was your age You see me as a grown-up Singing from the stage Or this page I guess you can't believe I was ever your age I was your age Watching Star Wars, but I hear you like Star Wars more than me. I wanted to be Indiana Jones, and Dr. Jones is who you aspire to be. And I loved playing with Legos, and Legos are what you currently build and rearrange. I guess some things never change. When I was your age, I didn't like doing homework, but when it was finished, it always felt real good. I didn't like brushing my teeth, but I brushed my teeth because Bert and Ernie said that I should. I didn't like listening to mom, though I knew deep inside it was the right thing to do. Hey, so do you. You know what's true before you can say boo. You'll be my age too. Gentlemen, geologicrecords.net is where you need to go if you want to get more of Mr. Rob. Uh, 
an epic response uh, from the chat realm and and from yeah. I know me and Brian personally. Thank you, uh, thank you so much. That was amazing, man. Fantastic. Oh, thanks, man. Thank you so much. It's fun. It's uh, fun. Fun. Big shout out to Beatnik Turtle, my friends in Chicago. They made me write that song in a day. What? So like cool. So thanks to them. What yeah. is what is it about the challenge? A of a deadline that causes so much amazingness to come out from people. You got people who are doing song a day and all this other stuff. I mean, it's uh, there's something about a deadline that just forces you to get off your butt and just create wizardry. Yeah, I am the laziest person on the planet. And it's like, unless there's a deadline happening, it's not happening. So someone says, you have to write a song and you have 18 hours. And it's like, oh, okay, well, I have to do it now. So you do it. So, so uh, thanks to them. Last oh, cool. time, I'm glad you liked it. Uh, oh, my gosh, yes. Uh, it, the last time we just crossed paths was at Dragon Con last year. Are you going to be at Dragon Con this year? Yes. Uh, yeah. Do, Absolutely. Yeah, I can't, can't wait. Uh, do, maybe do you, maybe you make someone's going to have to stop by our live show. Wait, was, 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 be a surprise. What are you doing? <laughs> Oh, I'm talking to a mouse that's sitting next to me in the studio. Uh, yeah, we. Uh, in fact, uh, speaking of uh, Dragon Con for for like six months, Justin and I uh, last year we did the NSFW show live at Dragon Con at the Skeptic Panel, uh, or maybe it was the podcasting track. Uh, it was. Uh, we had a total blast. One of our best episodes ever. Uh, we yeah. sort of have spent six months promoting the fact that we were going to be at Dragon Con again, doing NSFW live. Well well, we, we we were told at the end of last year's Dragon Con that they were very happy with us and they would love to have us back. Right. And we were told specific things, not just like, oh, no, don't worry, we'll be in touch. Maybe we'll have you back. But we were told very specifically that there were certain things and places that were going to happen. We've just now gotten confirmation that all those things that we were told were going to happen are, in fact, going to happen. And, like, and so we literally, have to lie to everybody. Literally within 24 hours, we finally got the schedule. So it's totally confirmed. And uh, you know how great Dragon Con is, right? How many years have you been going? I've been going for about five years now, and it's just, it's insane. I mean, if for, for folks that are watching that haven't gone, try to imagine 60,000 people, 57,000 of which are dressed as Klingons. Okay, <laughs> yeah. that, that's, that's the vibe. I mean, it's, it's, in, it's insane. But it's, speaking of weird costumes, I just realized I, I have this total Oompa Loompa thing going on. That's I don't all right. know why I'm so orange. I'm totally pink. And together, if you and I hooked up, we could make <laughs> a salmon-colored baby, and it would exactly. be delightful. See, Brian's yeah. pink, you're orange, yes. and I'm Imagine Muslim. its hair, too. My God. <laughs> and you, and you're what, Justin? Muslim. That was funnier the first time. Uh, let me just say, George, where can people no, find out more information about uh, about you and your music? Well, if you, I have a podcast that I do every week. It's called The Geologic Podcast, which has no geology in it whatsoever. Uh, that's at geologicpodcast.com. But my name is unique enough that if you Google Hrab, H-R-A-B, the first 137,000 things are about me. So you can do that. You go to iTunes, same same deal. Uh, George Harab, whatever. It'll 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 pop up somewhere. H R A B. Awesome. Absolutely. And uh, in all seriousness, if you haven't made plans to come to Dragon Con uh, and you, if you enjoyed this music experience, what you just experienced for the last twenty minute, minutes is all of Dragon Con. It is the geeks' uh, Burning Man, which is that's Justin's phrase, not mine, but it is totally brilliant and absolutely correct. Oh, no, you keep you always get it wrong. I I called it nerd freaknik. No, oh, nerd you, freaknik. No, that's that would be dismissive, and it would be diminishing no, of it. No, freaknik was the uh, the African American college music and uh, culture festival in Atlanta, and Dragon Con is the nerd and geek festival in Atlanta. I like I like my nerd. version better. Well, then I'm going to take credit. It's geeks burning. No, yes, Man. just stop. Yeah, stop attributing your crappy analogy to me. No, it's an yourself. awesome analogy, and people will take it up on Twitter. They'll Twitter me at Schwood uh, at Schwood freaknik. And Nerd <laughs> Justin R. Young. Hey, Listen, uh, I've never uh -huh. seen this before, but the chat room is nonstop, very loudly, repeatedly asking for an encore. And uh, that does, and in fact, that's coming in before they're yes. even hearing me say that. Now that they're hearing it, they're going to go totally nut, nuts, except for the one guy who likes to shout that NSFW sucks. Which uh, is not untrue. Yeah, that's, uh, that's my uh, dad, George. so I'm apologizing about that, by the way. That's my father, so I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, he, he just does that. He does that at my live shows. Do, do yes, you have do yeah. you have a, a one more song that you could give us before we wrap things up here? I think I could do a little little one for you. Sure, this is another uh, one off Trebuchet, well, which again is available in whatever place you want to download stuff. And actually, if you want to hear my entire album for free, you go to episode uh, what is it one seventy episode one hundred and seventy of my podcast. The entire Trebuchet album, all seventy minutes, is in there for free. 
Awesome. Uh, uh, wow. Know, like, and just check it out. If you like it, you can keep it. And if you like certain things, you can buy or whatever. All right. Here's a, here's a song called uh, Never Knew. This is about nerds falling in love. All right. This is off Trevor Shea. Here we go. Robin. I never knew why Gene insisted on singing while getting wet. I never knew how Will Rogers liked every single man he met. But now it's true because of you, I do. I never knew how Sherlock could be so good at solving. I never knew how Chuck could just observe and come up with evolving. I never knew why zombies had such a taste for brains. I never knew why high plains drifters insisted on drifting while high on the plains. But now it's true. Because of you, I do, I do. I never knew how Laird could dive headfirst into 30-foot swells. I never knew how the professor could make so much crap out of coconut shells. I never knew how gamblers on a winning streak could assume that they'd never lose. I never knew why the squares of the sides of a right triangle equal the square of the hypotenuse. But now it's true because of you. Despite my situation of unending frustration, it seems my education is affected by your I never knew. I never knew what rhymed with orange. But still, you asked me to fix your squeaky door hinge. <laughs> so now it's gonna get that's it for this episode of nsfw thank you so much to george rob thank you so much to the frog pants network and thank you to the folks who make nsfw possible take care party people love you guys <laughs>